Hello, welcome back to Lee's Tech Room, and today's video is all about this computer I've got here. It's a renewed computer from Amazon, and it's a oh, Dell Optiplex 7010, 3.1 gigahertz um, quad core processor with an SSD. Um, what I'll do is I'll just put, pop up on the uh, screen something a bit more interesting than watching me open this cardboard box, and um, I'm just going to waffle on about some rubbish. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a renewed one. So what it is is basically saving you a lot of money for getting something that's pretty much brand new. And uh, what we've got inside the box here is very well packaged. Okay, I thought it might have been in the, inside a box on this one, but it's not. So it's just as well I didn't open it earlier. Um, that's really good. That's not going to go anywhere with that in there. So there's lots of packaging going on there. We've got a HDMI adapter here. That feels really light and really flimsy. So not sure what the quality of that's like. That feels like the power. Oh, let's just open it. Shall we let's get in there and have a look at what we've got in here? Yeah, that's a power cable, which looks brand new. I mean, it, it advertised that is yes, it's re been renewed. So someone's bought it and didn't like it, or for some for whatever reason they sent it back to Amazon, and Amazon have gone through it. They've checked over and they've sent it out as new. Or you know, excellent condition. It says terms and conditions. It comes with a year warranty. I'd be really interested to see exactly what the good conditions like. So I'm gonna take my glasses off because I can't see. So yeah, as you can see, it's uh, renewed. Uh, it's got Office PC i7, 16 gig RAM, and 240 SSD. It's 110 quid. That's a bargain. I mean, this computer is worth a lot more than that when you look at it new. Come on, the little... No, it's gone. All right, so let's have a look at what it's like inside. Whoa. Okay, so it's a, it's a small form factor PC. And there it is. There's the PC itself. It is very narrow. But it's got everything that you want on it. So you've got four HDMI ports on the front. Sorry, <laughs> Four USB ports on the front, you've got speaker and microphone there. And on the back, there's two DPs, display ports, no HDMI, um, and loads of USBs. Okay. Well, that's it. I mean, it looks like it's in really good condition. There's no nicks as far as I can see. You can put it on the on the base like that, on the bottom, or you can put it on the, on the, or you can do it vertical or horizontal is what I'm trying to say. That will slide off, but I don't want to do that at the moment. <laughs> um, is it white stick it? Don't know what that was. Oh, you can put it. No, you can't. You can do it only one way. Gosh, it is. It's brand new. It is brand new. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever on the outside. There's no marks on it or anything. It's just picking up dirt from my table. Um, really good condition, really impressed so far. What I need to do is go and put it on the uh, monitor and turn it on, see what happens. Okay, so I've got everything set up. I've got the keyboard dongle in there, I've got powered in. I've uh, got the, uh, that's interesting actually, because that, that adapter that come with it is actually a, oops, the, because it's got, it's got two DP ports on the back. So this is a DP to HDMI, as you can see it's a DP to HDMI converter, which is a really, really good idea to include with the package because there's two DP DPs on the back there and quite a lot of um, monitors have um, HDMI. So uh, that's really great. I don't need that because this has got two DPs and I've got a DP cable. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna turn it on for the first time. Let's see what happens. Is the monitor on? Pretty sure the monitor's on. There we go. We're in. You see that? Okay. There we go. We're on. Oh, look at that. Wow. That was really, really fast. We're in already. That's it. It's turned on. It's because it's got SSD, so it's really, really quick. Um, obviously, there's nothing set up at all. Um, but wow, awesome. Let's have a look at the um, properties, what we've got. So there is, so it's the 
i7-377CPU, 3.4 gigahertz. That's interesting. I thought it was a 3.1. Excellent. I'm really pleased with that. So 16 gigs um, of RAM, 64-bit. Um, yeah. Okay. What about upgrading it here, you say? Well, I just happen to have some RAM here sent over from TimeTech. They sent over four times eight gig DDR3, 1600 megahertz, so I've got 32 gig. I've only got 16 gig on there at the moment. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll go over and have a look, uh, show you what the specs are showing on the computer at the moment. So as you see, according to this, we've got uh, 16 gig, let's put that in the middle. We've got 16 gig DDR3, uh, we've got 9.9 .9 gigs free. We're using a 5.8 at the moment. It's not doing anything. Oh, actually, no, sorry. It's got the um, firmware open. Um, so what we do now is go in and install it, install the new RAM, and we will see what the um, settings say then. OK, let's go. OK, so after taking the lid off, I can see that not much is accessible. Um, it doesn't look as brand new as I thought it was. It's a little bit dirty. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. Um, I've got to get. Uh, the RAM's underneath here, so that's the disk drive, and then um, the SSD is in there somewhere. Uh, so I've got to get all this off so I can get to the RAM, which is right underneath there. Um, okay, so let's pause that for a second, and um, I'll get all this off, and then we can see the RAM being installed. Okay, so now I'm inside of taking off the disk drive and the SSD. It was actually a really, really simple process, and I will show you um, the reverse of it, so you'll be able to see the... Um, how to remove it when you want to. So it's actually really easy. Uh, so what we'll do now is I will open up the memory box and get it out. Wow, there we go. There's the new memory, looking very nice. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take off the other stuff first. So those of you who don't know, clip these clips out. You see it removing out already. Push them out like that. And all you've got to do is <laughs> put it out. Simple as that. So remember which way it goes in. So you've got the gap, the small, um, small there, and there's a big bit there. So there's a gap in the middle there, which is not quite the middle, but it's just out of the way a little bit. Um, very technical, I know, but um, that's how you uh, know which way to put it in. You've got four slots here. Let's just give it a quick hoover. Right, now we install the RAM. One at a time. So remember that the uh, larger space was at the top and the smaller was on the bottom. Start at one end. Push it in. And the clips clip on top. Rinse and repeat. There we go, just make sure the clips are up. That's it. Okay, so I'll show you how I've uninstalled the um, SSD caddy. Okay, so this is obviously the reverse, so it clips onto the back there. There's two little holes at the back there, so it clips onto that. And then push out of the way of those cables. And then there's a little screw here, and that tucks on, on top of it. There we go, like that, simple as that. So all you have to do to remove it is push that over there, and then take it off. Very good, very neat and easy to get off. Um, so you can get to the uh, memory easy. And then the disk drive plonks into there. And then we just push it out into, into place. And there we go, into place. Let me put all the cables back on. There we are, back up and running. So what we need to do now is put the lid back on, which is that way. So it tucks in there first on the bottom, and then there we go, back into place. 
Okay, now we're going to go and put it all back together, put the leads back in, turn it back on, and then have a look at what the uh, settings say. See you in a sec. So here we are in the test manager again. We can see that we're running 32 gigs now with DDR3 instead of uh, 16, which we're showing just now. Still 1600 megahertz, uh, which I think is the fastest you can get for this DDR3 anyway. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, so we're running 6.2, so it's a little bit more than before, but um, I'm not sure why it's a little bit more, but we've got 25.4 gigs free. It's probably because I'm recording and I've got the film more on as well. Um, so we're running good, uh, so we, we're faster, and it was really easy to install on the Dell PC. The Dell make it really, really simple to get in there, as you saw from the um, uh, installation process. Amazing. I'm loving this computer. This is awesome. Uh, now I've got loads more um, USB ports as well and um, got a nice big screen. Okay, so, so far, thumbs up from me. This is a awesome unit. If you want a um, PC that is really cheap and pretty quiet, and you don't want to pay loads of money and you want good specs, get a renewed one. No wrong, nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Absolutely amazing, really small, got loads more room on my desk now. Excellent, brilliant, love it. <laughs> okay well um let me know what you guys think have you got one are you going to get one let me know i'm really interested okay so that's it from me i've been lee's tech room see you there, bye